What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Zaynomics Gaming. Today we are reviewing the best sounding sniper rifle in the game and it is called Macabre. I may be saying that wrong. I tried to look it up on Google. I know it's like a British term, but unfortunately um, the way they were pronouncing it just sounded completely off and then it wasn't even spelled correctly like how the game has it but i digress this weapon is available during the festival of the lost event so if you did not grab one last year then now's the time to do it it is very easy to obtain this weapon this weapon is stacked with fantastic perks so there really is no bad roll here but what is the god roll before we get into that though i want to make you all aware that this weapon is only obtainable through this event festival of the lost now it only lasts for three weeks and you know, you know, we have FOMO. So you gotta think about that, especially if you do want certain weapons, you're gonna have to play the game, especially with these types of events. Now, all you have to do is jump in the tower, speak with Eva, and then follow the quest. It's very simple. All you have to do is do a couple little things and then grind Haunted Lost Sectors. You'll get drops after drops of all of the Festival of the Lost weapons. So definitely do those Haunted Lost Sectors. It does get kind of tedious and boring at times, but it does reward you. Now with all of the different weapons that drop from this event, you should have no problem actually getting the rolls that you're looking for. I will usually get roughly three rolls or so per run. So it's pretty, it's pretty rewarding. Like I said, you'll be able to get what you want. And like I said, it does last for three weeks. Now in this particular video though, we are covering mainly PVP, particularly as snipers are in a bad spot for PVE as there are better options available such as grenade launchers, slug shotguns, and much more. As of right now, the ammo economy is just not that great for snipers and they do not have the damage to compete with other weapon types currently. That could change in the future though. They are planning on buffing all sniper rifles, even heavies will fall into this category by 15%. So it could change, but at that point it's like, mm, it's like a give or take type situation. It really just depends on how that buff really works out. And of course I do recommend that if you get a great PVE roll, just hang on to it, keep it. You only have three weeks to play this event. It's sort of a rare weapon. It just depends on how many people are playing. Like I said, it's only available through a limited time. So in hindsight, if you do get a roll or two that is mainly designated toward PVE, I just recommend keeping it. Like I said, this um, weapon only appears three weeks out of the year and who knows if it will return next year or not. That's really just up to Bungie at that point. Now Macabre is an aggressive frame arc sniper rifle and it sounds absolutely wicked i love the way it sounds it's the best sounding sniper probably the best sounding gun inside of destiny 2 right now it is so satisfying snagging those headshots now obviously if you're grinding for this weapon most of you are probably playing pvp as for pve the sniper will not help you speed run content or dish out tons of damage compared to other weapon types however in pvp it really feels like the best sniper currently inside of destiny 2. i know we have the thousand yard snare we have a couple others crafted beloved etc etc but if you are hunting for the perfect role to terrify your enemies and wreak havoc i recommend corkscrew rifling for the barrel perk this will give a plus five to range stability and handling without any negative side effects for our mag perk you cannot go wrong with Akarai's rounds as this will boost our range by 10. for our first trait i will live and die by snapshot sights even with the recent changes it still feels like a requirement for me on all sniper rifles i have to have a snappy feeling weapon especially when it comes to snipers Keep Away is also present on this year's version, but I like Keep Away more on primary weapons like pulse rifles and hand cannons, auto rifles, stuff like that. For my final trait, I am riding with opening shot. This is a one and done weapon, and this trait will boost the accuracy, range, and aim assist for every three seconds. So if you shoot one round, you got 3.1 seconds to be exact before the opening shot perk will actually work again. So. That would be my solid PVP roll. Corkscrew rifling, accurized rounds, snapshot sights, and opening shot. Now I know some people live and die by keep away as well, but as I've stated, it's mainly for primary weapons. And to me, it's a sniper. I really don't need the additional, like I don't need to waste a perk to add range to my weapon when I can get the range. One is a sniper, two, I can get it from the barrel and I can also apply more range within the masterwork and the mag perk so i don't necessarily see keep away as an important trait for sniper rifles and like i said it mainly will stick on primaries for me but i cannot recommend it snapshot sights all day long will make the weapon feel very good 
when you are moving in and out of um, cover and you will be able to peak shot very consistently. Now for PVE, I would keep the same barrel perk, but for the mag perk, I would use a pendant mag because it does give you an extra, a plus one, and it also has no negative side effects. Clown cartridge for that third perk, and then Vorpal weapon. That will be okay for DPS. Of course you can grind for a good volt shot roll, but I really, I'm really trying to fit as many rounds as I can into this weapon and be able to consistently fire repeatedly. Again, sniper rifles are in a tough spot for PVE as they are just not viable right now. There are better options when it comes to special weapons, hence why I do not have any gameplay of snipers at all, well, macabre at all, in PVE on this video. I was trying to use it in the haunted sectors and I struggled. It was difficult to use, especially with so many other good options. It just does not put out the damage that you really need. And per round, I was getting 15,210 per crit with a sniper on the headless ones. It's, it's, it's not that good. It, it kind of sucks. Now we are getting a 15% buff for sniper rifles, but unfortunately the really only the heavies in my eyes will actually be able to compete with that, especially whisper of the worm. I think you'll see whisper of the worm rise in usage amongst the guardians that have it compared to regular special um, sniper rifles. So, you know, it's really hard to recommend. I guess we'll just kind of have to run some numbers and see how it plays out. But for me, the only sniper that I plan on using with the new buff is Whisper of the Worm. I, I do not plan on using Macabre or um, Beloved or 1,000 Yard Stare or, excuse me, 1,000 Yard Stare or anything like that for um, PvE. I, I like the heavies. Um, now, is it Nagi's Burden might do put in some work, but... That's really the only other sniper that I use that's not heavy that I use on a consistent basis if I decide to use a sniper rifle at all. Now, of course, if I really had to recommend what you should use this weapon for, it's definitely for PvP. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will be covering other Festival of the Lost weapons this week. And, man, like I said, this this weapon, it just sounds so good. It feels so good. It is it's, it's top tier to me. It is a top tier sniper for PvP especially that's going to do it for the video guys leave me a comment down below on what you are grinding for in festival of law so using you're trying to get horror story you're trying to get a new gl um what are you trying to do now that new gl i heard is pumping out you know it, it it could be up there with that burst dps but as always if you enjoyed the video consider leaving a like and also consider subscribing to my channel we cover a variety of content here we will be reviewing other weapons this week we have roughly a week and a half left to grind this event i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you all in the next video.